Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a really, really cool video for all of yous. I have got a lot of bikes. And when I say a lot of bikes, I mean I've got a lot of bikes. I don't actually know off the top of my head how many bikes I've got. But today we are going to find out. Basically, in 2020, I did a full mountain bike collection video and I showed you all my bikes, all my little bits of accessories. And today I'm going to do the same thing with a twist. So, we are going to be finally trying bike hooks today. We're going to try and hang all the bikes and get them all off the floor. We're going to show you my helmet and all my riding gear. And we've got a few other bits that I want to show you as well what I've done. Before we go any further in today's video, I wanted to say, first of all, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for the support on Owner. It's been crazy. Don't forget, we've got hoodies, jackets, joggers, jumpers, shorts. We've got loads of gear on Owner. And you get a free t-shirt or a free jersey with every single one of those products that you order. So, if you're ordering a hoodie or you're ordering one of our new jackets, make sure you drop your free t-shirt or your free jersey in that order. And it'll get zeroed on checkout. So, check that out. Make sure you do. I've got a few little bits to show you as well. I'm going to start with a couple of things I've ordered for cleaning my car. I've got... Actually... Before we even get into that, basically, me bulk kit got delayed another week on the e-machine. So, I know a lot of you are like me and you're waiting patiently for the e-build to be complete. You have no idea how much I'm losing my mind not riding this thing at the moment as well. But, fingers crossed, in March we can get out anywhere we want and ride. But, basically, all I'm waiting on to finish the e-bike is a bulk kit because I've threaded this back corner and destroyed the aluminium bolt. So, I'm waiting on a bolt kit, I'm fingers crossed it comes this week. There's loads of crazy stuff going on with customs, importing and exporting, it's totally crazy at the moment. And I'm fortunate that I can get a bolt kit for the e-machine. So, I'm just waiting on that, it should land this week, and then we can get the e-machine up and running fully. I'm so excited, you have no idea. But, I don't want to finish it without the bolt kit, because I will go and ride it. So I'm holding off on that. Now, I have been getting a few bits for cleaning the car. I've got, I've got Auto Finesse Avalanche Snow Foam, which smells like bubblegum. I know you can't smell it. By the way, I've got no brew in here today. No, no cup of tea. What is going on? And I've changed how I make my cup of tea. I've been now putting two tea bags in the cup for a double strength cup of tea. smells so nice. Bubble gum. So I've ordered this snow foam to try it out and I've been watching plenty of car valeting um, videos all the time, learning how to do paint properly and stuff. Okay, I bought some Glide clay lube. This is for clay in your car and getting all the contaminants off your car. And I bought a big 30 by 30 clay microfiber cloth. So basically, you wash your car and you can do clay coverage with that. It sounds and looks sick. So I'm super excited to try that on my next day where I'm chilling, which is not today. We are not chilling out today. And I've got a few other little bits, but we're going to get to that. So, bucket seats. Those of you who've been watching every episode on the channel will know that I got some Recaro wingbacks for the car. I tried, off your recommendation, new leather cleaners. So I tried Auto Glim leather cleaner, and I used... Basically sprayed this on, left it for like two minutes, agitated it a bit with a microfiber cloth, um, roughing all the leather and stuff up. I then wiped it off, sprayed a bit more on, used a chamois leather in a bucket of water, scrubbed the seats fully down. Then I leather care bombed these seats, but I only did the driver's seat to do a comparison. So, I'm excited to show you now the difference between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. I don't know whether you'll be able to see properly on camera. Sometimes these things don't transcend in real life, but I can't wait to show you. The buckets are running sick. I've also, check it out in the corner, I've installed a brand new torch mount, which basically automatically plugs in. So now we've got full battery on the torch machine and the charger clips in at the bottom down here. Check it, as you can see down there. So when you put your torch on, you just put it on charge, put it on the wall, and clip it in. It's really, really cool. The torch is going to be one of the next videos on the channel. 
we're going to be doing a riding session in the night time with the torch but i haven't rode in a week basically my shoulder's been destroyed all week off the trials bike last sunday i've wanted to give it a rest because i've had a shoulder injury before and then not to be messed with i had surgery on my left shoulder and i learned the hard way so i decided to take a full week letting my shoulder tighten up stiffen up again and it's feeling great again so i'm excited to get back out on the bikes not just the trials bike the bmx the mountain bike everything but before we do anything else today we are going to b&q in the golf r and we are buying some hooks for the walls in here and we're going to see if the walls can take the weight of all my bikes let's do this so basically as you can see, I've, all, I've done all the seats at the top and stuff, and it's nice and matte leather now, like smooth and like a lighter colour grey in comparison to this seat that I haven't done yet. This is pretty shiny. I won't go on too much, but I'm pretty impressed with the leather cleaner and the buckets are going well. I'm pretty hyped on them, not going to lie. The buckets are in. I'm going to drop the windows so you can see them from here. You've got to see it from the outside. It looks proper sick. Look at that, visually 10 out of 10, comfort 10 out of 10, I'm hyped. I've got a question for you, is what is the next car mod that you want to see on the channel? Big brakes, could be pretty cool. Stage 3, 500 brake, that could be pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't mind doing like a bit of a boot build, like um, Club Sport Mark 7s come with like a false floor all the way in the back. Maybe that could be pretty cool. But I just wanted to do a little bit of a Mark 7 art update. I get asked a lot on the channel when I don't include the Golf to include the Golf. So I hope you've seen the Golf today and enjoyed it. Let's get over to B&Q and get these bike hooks. Let's see how many miles per gallon we're doing right now. creeping up. It's hard to judge in a car park like this. Oh, it sounds sweet. You will notice as well, I've put this thing on as well. I had this made. Looks pretty cool. Fiberglass, some gears in there. Owner logo. Pretty sick. And... You have no idea how many times I've bashed me splitter as well off stuff on the way to places. It has been quite an emotional journey for the splitter so far. Nice. Should we have a little listen? See what we're working with. Sounds sick. Yeah, check it out. The owner logo in it, it's got some gears in it and stuff. Looks pretty cool. We've got snapback caps, check it. We've got all kinds. Tall tee bundles, £29. Three t-shirts for £25 on a t-shirt bundle. We've got loads of deals on owner, go and check it out. So, we are hanging the first beast up. I'm going to stick to all the timbers that I've got in the garage, so that we don't have any drama. Oh, actually, I'm going to get this as high as I can. I don't know whether it's going to be too low for mountain bikes, but we'll find out. You can take your front wheel off and hang your bikes forward for space saving, but it seems like graft, so I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it the normal way, if there was ever a normal. I'm going to start with my beautiful jump bike. I've had it professionally powder coated in Nardo Grey. We've got a Tech Free Orange Hope Lever with an X2 Orange Brake Hope. Um, it's an NS Decade frame. It's got Fox 36 factory series forks on it in 100mm. So it's a full on competitive professional. Basically a pro slope style jump bike. It's absolutely insane hope pro 4 hubs basically i would say if i lived somewhere where there was maybe i have to make some myself but if i live somewhere where i could quite easily accessibly ride this jump bike more this would be 1000 percent my favorite bike it's like 
a big BMX. It's basically like a BMX, but with comfort. It's insane. So we are going to hang number one of, I don't know how many, in the bike collection. Nardo Grey, jump bike, NS Decade. Love it. I've been messing about with these hooks quite a lot. Um, I think it works pretty well to have the bikes a little bit more sideways. Even though I don't get as many bikes in one place, I do think it like gives me a bit more space saving against the walls rather than them sticking right out. I reckon it looks pretty sick to be able to see the bike as well a little bit rather than just looking at like thin lines. So I'm probably going to get two on this wall in total. Next. By the way, if in this video you're wondering why some of my bikes don't have seat posts, it's because I use one seat post, which is a wireless reverb dropper post, and I switch it between all my bikes. So next on the list is the Transition Scout. It's an aluminium frame. We've got Fox 36 um, factory series forks in Kashima. These are 150 mil travel. I've had these custom squashed. We've also got a progressive Cane Creek spring and coil on the back. Check that out. Berg Tech pedals, obviously. Carbon race face cranks. And we've got carbon wheels, but I'm not currently running the front carbon wheel on this bike. We've got the skim wall tyres, they look pretty sick. And obviously the blue Hope bits and the, blue, and the black Hope E4 brakes. So this is a pretty comfortable ride, it's nice and playful. It's my small enduro bike, so I can ride bike parks, trail centres, forests, little spots. It's an all rounder machine. And it's just so playful, it's so fun to hit absolutely anything on. I would say this is my favourite big bike. 27.5, this is my favourite big bike. I don't know, actually, maybe the e-bike is. It's going to be a hard one. I'm not going to hang the e-bike, by the way. I don't think I've got the strength in the, in the garage. Going in hot. It's kind of sick. It's touching the floor, but it kind of works. I reckon it looks pretty sick. We're going to attempt now. I know what you're thinking. You're going to be thinking, why don't you put them straight? But, basically, they're the wrong type of hooks to put something straight. So, if it, like that, it would have to be sideways to put the wheel in. And I do actually quite like it like that. I think it looks pretty smart to look at. I'm going to try and mount another one here and see if I can get away with free in this section. Install. So this is my big travel enduro bike. The transition is 150mm travel on the front and 130mm on the back. Being basically a super playful bike. Obviously running the big brakes though makes it pretty much rideable absolutely anywhere. Such a sick bike. This on the other hand is like a totally different bike but also pretty, pre also pretty similar. So this is a size small and this is a size small. I'm also running the Hope E4 brakes. I actually think one of them is an E4 and one of them is a V4. Doesn't really make a difference. Um, I think the V4 is probably better, but I don't notice, basically. This is originally was made for uplift parks and it was single speed. Haven't since I've changed it to 12 speed on the rear. So now I can pretty much ride absolutely anywhere on it. Forests, trail centers and so on. Um, this wireless dropper post is actually broken. I've just got it on at the moment because it looks cool and if I want to go for a ride really quick I don't have to change the seat post but I would use my Rock Shock, my Rock Shocks wireless dropper out of the e-bike for this if I was going out riding. It's 160mm on the rear and 170 slash 80 on the front. I'm pretty sure it's 180 but I'm pretty sure standard they're 170 so it's a lot bigger than the transition. It's a lot more it can swallow a lot more up if you were riding like Revolution Bike Park. This would handle it all no problem. Um, you could also ride forests like Landegla, Gisborne Forest. Pretty sick for like blitzing it round. The gear and sleek has got a big sprocket on the front, 12 speed on the back. Um, 180 mil disc on the front and a 200 on the back. I am in the future going to be upgrading the front disc to a 200 so I've got big brakes on both sides. Um, but yeah, it's actually running plus size wheels on the front so it's sort of a bit like a mullet bike but not really it's 27.5 plus on the front which is 
2.8 tyre and it's got a slim rear tyre on the back at 2.4 so it's got a bit of a raked feeling which is what you kind of want on a little free ride bike okay coming in hot with the free ride build somehow that one ended up off the ground but the transition didn't and they fit oh i know why because the roof goes up that much so it must have just made it this is starting to look pretty cool now check that all the bikes in the air nice chilled you know you can come in grab your stuff if you need to it's not too stressful pretty spacious all my bikes are in here well bar one. Oh, quattro can i please get past you can i get past you go on go on go on unbelievable so this is my specialized kinevo e-bike purple custom powder coated frame fox 38 forks 180 mil travel which is what this bike has standard um, 180 mil travel on the rear Orleans shock on the rear with a coil at uh, 457 pounds of pressure um, obviously this is in the middle of being built at the moment I've explained earlier in the video I'm waiting on a bolt kit then I've got to bleed my rear brake and set up my gears and the custom e-machine will then be fully built this is bike number four and I will not be hanging this on the walls it's a lot emptier down that end, I've got all the bikes hung up over there. I'm going to put my trials machine, which is my go-to at the moment. This has never been in a bike collection video before. This is me inspired arcade bike. It's sort of got a BMX vibe going on, but it's a trials bike. It's got 2.4 Continental tyres, which are absolutely sick. MT, MT7 brakes, Magura. Hope Pro 4 hubs. Obviously all them inspired parts, cranks, frame, seat and seat post, bars, forks, they're all inspired arcade. This thing is so sick for having a play on in lockdown. It's literally got to be one of my favourite bikes. It's so good. We're going to hang the trials bike over here. I'm not entirely sure where, because it's got to merge in with my BMX as well. That's what we're going for here. So we're going to probably put it maybe like here maybe try that so we're going to put the first hook in for me trials machine maybe like that oh wait there I'm not entirely sure how this is going to be because obviously it's 24 inch wheels they're not a million miles off 26 and the jump bike was pretty chill Now, let's hang it up. About time. Oh, I didn't think. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. Look at that. Looks clean on the wall. I'm into that. Looks sweet, that. Now, I reckon I'll get away with my BMX on a sideways hook here because it's only got 20 inch wheels. We'll try it. Some of you will know in one of my more recent videos on the channel I actually got these wheels the other day on, on my stories I actually installed them and I think they're looking pretty sweet Quick little rundown, this is an old fit S3 frame which I've had since I was like 16, 17 years old I've got tall order chrome bars, tall BMX stem, I've got Maxxis skim wall tyres I've got vocal cranks, I've got a tall order seat and seat post Profile mini hubs, G Sport rims, titanium spokes, and a fly bike sprocket. That's pretty much my BMX summed up. Absolutely love this thing. I don't know whether it's going to fit properly like this. Let's find out. I reckon it will. Probably the easiest bike to mount in the whole building. And there we have it. So that's all my bikes off the ground. I think it looks kind of cool. As you can see, we've got the jump bike. This is a beast, speaks for itself, needs no introduction. We've got the 150 130 Transition Scout. We've got the Nuke Proof Mega, pretty sick. 
We've then got the e-bike, which we're not hanging, because it'll probably pull the whole garage down. It weighs that much. We've then got the Inspired Trials machine and the BMX, last but not least. There's one other bike. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six bikes. And there is another bike that I did have, which is a free ride build that I did with Fox 40s on. But the reality is I've just never really rode it that much. So I'm going to be giving this frame back to Dave who gave me for nothing. So this next hook drives me insane and I cannot wait to do this. This was actually a subscriber's idea to buy one with foam on. Like this, and it's for rims and stuff like that, tyres. This one is going down here quite low. And all these tyres and rims driving me insane around the garage all the time. There's a bigger gap like that. There. Can all go on this hook. That is actually pretty cool, that. Spare wheels out the way, spare tyres and so on. We do have quite a lot of BMX wheels as well, so we're going to mount another one of them for all the BMX wheels. So it's quite overwhelming, I've got a lot of stuff lying around. So there's all my mountain bike wheels, mountain bike tyres are at the back now. We've got a BMX tyre at the back as a spare and we've got four wheels as spares there for my BMX. So I think it's a lot better, we've got the trials, the BMX, we've got a few other bits. I have got some other mounts and hooks, I've got loads for loads of stuff. Let me know in the comments what you reckon where I could put helmets, bike frames, what else have I got, pad bags, I've got loads of bits and pieces. Let me know your thoughts. There's a comment section underneath this video. It'd be sick to hear what you think, where I could get some space saving done. Right now, I'm pretty overwhelmed because there's a lot of change going on in here for me. But I do feel I've got a lot more space to walk around. No bikes are gonna fall over. They kind of are where they are. Feels a million times better. I think that's gonna be the end of today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed a bit of a random video showing you my bike collection, showing you where I'm hanging them all up and any future ideas and plans I've got for the bikes. I hope you've got a better understanding. And yeah, that's the end of today's video. Make sure you go and check out Owner. Link is in the description. You get a free t-shirt or a free jersey with every single hoodie, jacket, joggers, jumpers or shorts. Check out, it'll be dropped to zero. Make sure you go and check that out. Link is in the description. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.